still at the Star Street. Now we uh, will interview Nadia Hasboun, an artist and a designer. Hello, Nadia. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Excited. Uh, uh, tell us about the festival. How do you see it? Uh, I'm very excited that uh, Bethlehem has organized such an event because I think it's a good opportunity for locals to go out, to meet up, to sort of like, you know, chill in the current situation that surrounds us. And also I think it's very important for the foreigners who visit Bethlehem to actually get uh, a piece of like how we live what we do in Bethlehem, what Bethlehemites look like, how how we interact, um, what we dress like, all of these things, which unfortunately lately in the in the last few years has not been the situation because many tourists just come to Bethlehem, spend one night here, go to specific locations, souvenir shops and just leave and don't really have a taste of who we are. Good. Uh, could you please tell us about the, your exhibition here in uh, Star Street and at the festival? Okay, I'm a local fashion designer and accessory designer from Bethlehem. Uh, I design clothing and accessories that are inspired by uh, Palestinian culture and heritage. Uh, what you see in front of you is my olive wood accessory, which is my main participation in this um, exhibition or festival. My other participation is the t-shirt, which I will be speaking about uh, later on. Um, yeah, that's it. You have a message to send to the people through your uh, handicrafts. Yes. Well, uh, tell us about it. Okay, two things. First thing is, uh, Bethlehem is very famous for using olive wood, uh, mainly in making souvenirs. So my idea was to make something new, uh, out of the ordinary. So I made the accessories for people to have a part of Palestine and carry it around. Uh, above that, I decorate the pieces with quotes and writings from Arabic uh, poets and thinkers such as Mahmoud Darwish, Edward Said, Fadwa Tuqan and others. Uh, these quotes are supposed to remember, like remind people of who we are and what our culture is all about. Very nice. What about the t-shirt? Yes, so the t-shirt, um, uh, the t-shirt I got famous for because it basically reflects our reality um, in Bethlehem in particular and in Palestine in general. Um, the t-shirt is a fingerprint, so when you see somebody wearing it from far away, you just see a fingerprint. But when you look uh, close up, it's a story of a Palestinian, which basically mirrors our reality when passing a checkpoint, putting our fingerprint and being just a fingerprint. And actually, it's a lot of information and a story behind it. So this is uh, the poem of Mahmoud Darwish, Record I'm an Arab, Sajil Ana Arabi, all the way around uh, three times telling the story of a Palestinian person. Uh, if people want to reach you, how they can know your store, you have a store? Yes, um, I just opened a showroom in Bethlehem uh, at the Mujamma, which is a mall by the bus station close to the Nativity Church. Um, I have uh, products in uh, Ramallah, in Haifa, in um, Amman. So people can take a look at uh, my stockists list at my website, which is www.nadiah.com. Nadia with a Y. <laughs> You have products in abroad, like in America or UK? Um, or? Basically, I ship uh, online, so anything they want, I can, uh, they can buy online and I can ship abroad. Thank you. We were now with uh, Nadia Hasboun. Uh, stay with us to do more interviews about the Palestinian local products.